What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Hostage star by Bruce Willis and this movie is what it is in the title, Hostage. Uh, let's talk about what I like. I'll, I gotta say this movie is really, really underrated. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I don't know why people don't watch this or recommend this movie to watch because it's really good. What did I like? I like Bruce Willis as an actor. His acting was really good. It was convincing. It was, uh, uh, you could tell he was sad. You can tell that he was angry. You can tell that he was thinking. You can tell that he was uh, plotting. He was trying to, he was planning. He, you show this, you can see the level of skill that this man has, Bruce Willis. He, he, really, he really showed in this movie the way he talked, the way he uh, uh, have the conversation with a certain individual. That's really good. I like the premises of the story. Uh, I don't want to ruin it for you. The hostage of, uh, of being being held hostage. It was really interesting of how um, I guess a hostage negotiator would do, would talk, would try to find out, get, get clues. It's really interesting. This sort of thing uh, that you know a hostage, uh, hostage negotiator would do. I just find that so interesting. Uh, the uh, the uh, I guess our main character, our main villain there, it was really interesting too. There's a, uh, you know, there was I guess you could say they're teenager and they're really crazy. They're not crazy, but they're uh, almost unpredictable. They're a little um, off the rail. They're just trying to they're trying to rob these people. They're trying to get out of the situation. They're trying to negotiate for the best for. There's a situation, it's kind of like give, almost not a give and take, but a uh, making you the best move so you can survive out of the situation. And I really, really like that. Um, what else did I like? I like the uh, the communication between the little kid, the little boy, and the, the Bruce Willis. All these other characters did a really good job. The setting was perfect. The, the, the interaction between the hostages and the, uh, uh, the, not the hostages, but the, the capturers and the hostages and the negotiator, it really flows so well. It seemed fluid, it seemed authentic. It's, it's not authentic, but it seemed a little bit of Hollywood. You can sort of tell, but it was all, it was in the gray area where you like, yeah, you know what? This could happen. This uh, this person could do like this, could act like this, could it could happen like this. So I like that a lot. Uh, what else did I like? And I like the father's acting. It was so believable. The father of the two kids that was held hostage. It was really good. The script was really good too. It was the the conversation, the the talk back and forth, the the, the communication. The uh, 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 I do this, you do this for me. To scratch my back, I scratch your back. It's really interesting. It was uh, uh it's, he was really negotiating. Uh, for the, the for the kids and you know for other things too, which I will mention here because it's really good. Uh, I just it's a really good movie overall. It, it just it really touches on the what it is to be in a hostage situation or to be held at hostage point or what it is to be uh, a negotiator or, uh, or what it is to be the capturer. It's, it really gave you a three point of view in just one movie, and it does a really good job in this movie. So, what did I don't like about this movie is uh, I wish uh, the, the 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 people who had got shot or killed by a, a villain I wish they have a little bit more interaction with our main character Bruce Willis just kind of giving a little bit more in for depth more connections so we feel the pain when they actually pass away. So that's a little bit of things. What else I didn't like at the uh, the bitters between the uh, I wish there was more. We get to see more, uh, um, I guess, conflict between the two brothers. But it was fine for what it is. I'm being a picky at this point. What else I did not like? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, it was a little bit confusing who was the real villain and who wasn't really willing. But it was fine. I, uh, toward the end, I understood what really happened, what was going on. So that was good. So, what was the rating I give this movie? I give it a... Yeah, uh, uh, eight out. Uh, I want to give it a. I want to give it a nine. Really, it's really that good. 
Oh, guys, it's really that good. I give it. I'm gonna give it a um a eight out of ten. Uh, but it's almost a nine. It's really good. It's eight out of ten. I highly, highly recommend you go watch this. This is really interesting. It's inter. Uh, it's uh, emotional. It's a it's a roller coaster ride. Is uh, you get to see from this point of perspective. You get to see what's what's going on at toward the end. You can see what his motive. How would you do as as a negotiator? What would you do? It ask, it may it asks you questions. This sort of thing. Then how would you do in certain situation? That's what this movie really excelled at. It's really. Telling you the story at the same time, but really asking you the question, how would you do it? It, 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 it? Not a lot of movies really achieve that level of communication. Telling the story, but then asking the question to the audience. Really good job. I, I enjoyed it. It's one of those underrated. I'm happy that I watched this movie. 8 out of 10, guys. I Go watch this movie. Uh, this is probably, um, uh, probably Bruce Willis. I made a few good movies that I would recommend. So... 8 out of 10, go out and watch it on, I believe, on Netflix. Check it out, guys. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so, but most importantly, take care and bye-bye.